Hurricane Lisa hit Belize on Wednesday, uprooting trees, dropping power poles and causing widespread power outages across the Caribbean nation, but there were no immediate reports of deaths or major damage. It was a terrifying experience, said Angelica Escalante, who works in Sand Hill, outside Belize City, and expressed concern about her neighbor's house. Their roof may not be strong enough for this kind of weather. Several roofs were damaged, and flooding to the bungalow was also seen. But local officials have not yet calculated the impact of the storm. Lisa's eye, a Category 1 hurricane, churning 32 kilometers west of Belize City, the small nation's main commercial port, weakened slightly as it made landfall. Its extended range packs maximum sustained winds of 120 kilometers per hour, the NHC's U.S. National Hurricane Center said in its latest report. The center expects rapid weakening as Lisa moves further inland, but steady rainfall and the potential for widespread flooding still pose a significant hazard. The NHC predicts that after Lisa's move to sparsely populated Belize, strong winds and heavy rain will slowly cross the jungles of northern Guatemala and southeastern Mexico, home to ancient Mayan ruins and beach resorts. Weather models over the next few days showed Lisa was on track to reach the Gulf of Campeche in the southern Gulf of Mexico, where a major offshore drilling rig operated by national oil company Pemex is located. The model, however, shows the storm system weakening once it reaches the area. The NHC said Lisa was moving westward at a speed of 19 km per hour and a strong storm surge could lift tides about 1 to 2 meters above normal levels. Belize's government emergency services declared on Wednesday afternoon a state of emergency, including a curfew in two districts covering most of the Caribbean coast until Thursday. Officials advised people living in vulnerable areas to move to shelters, adding that border crossings. Ports and airports were also ordered closed. President Alejandro Giomate of neighboring Guatemala told a news conference that food rations were being sent to vulnerable areas. Giomate added that damage was expected in Guatemala's Maya Biosphere Reserve, a stretch of protected rainforest that is home to a rich fauna and a major archaeological site. Guatemala's disaster agency Conrad said earlier that flooding had hit Melcher de Menchos, the main border with Belize, affecting 95 people and causing moderate damage to several homes. Honduran Fire Chief Wilmer Guerrero said the Lisa caused no damage while passing through the Gulf Islands of Honduras, while its largest island, Roten, suspended a state of emergency there. The NHC also warned of storm conditions between the Mexican border town of Chetumal and Costa Maya, one of the country's most popular cruise ports, though its tropical storm warning did not stretch far north to the popular beach resort of Tulum. The U.S. National Hurricane Center NHC has downgraded Lisa from hurricane to tropical hurricane. Noting that at 0600 GMT the eye was hovering about 85 miles 135 kilometers outside Belize City and moving toward Guatemala and southeastern Mexico at 12 miles per hour 19 kilometers per hour. For around the next day, the storm system is expected to bring heavy blows and send heavy rains, large waves and flash floods to the northern coast of Central America and the tip of the Yucatan Peninsula, which weakens further as it moves inland. Lisa hit the Sibin River southwest of the economic hub and former capital of Belize City at around 21. 20 GMT on Wednesday, uprooting trees, knocking down power lines and inundating roads. Schools and most businesses were closed and the government set up several shelters. Lisa arrived not even three weeks after the passage of Julia, another Category 1 hurricane, which caused dozens of deaths in Honduras, Guatemala and El Salvador.